Hey y'all, Coach in the Fight here. Getting prepared for the new moon of May in the year 2023. Now, we're looking here at our new quarterly sacred calendar. You can actually find links to download a free PDF version of this that you can print out. I want to bring you all the way back to March 23rd of 2023 because that's when this quarter starts. That was the first new moon after the spring equinox, and it happened to fall on a Thursday. So all of the Sabbath days for this quarter are on Thursdays. But anyway, let's drop down and let's look in May, where we're expecting Sivan 1 to begin. Now, the 0% moon occurred on the 19th of May at about 11 a.m. Now, as a rule of thumb, we know that the moon will become visible the second evening after the 0% moon, and that'll be about May the 20th. And this is why I wanted to rush and put this video out, because there is an important thing that we do on New Moon Day, and that is to blow the trumpets on the new moons. We see that in Psalms chapter 81 and 3, that we are to blow up the trumpet in the new moon in the time appointed and on our solemn days. So with the sighting of the new moon on May the 20th, the sounding of these trumpets will begin and will last until the evening of May the 21st. Now, this sounding is ex extremely important, guys. As far as material items are concerned, the trumpet is our only real weapon in spiritual warfare, and it is necessary to blow that trumpet every month. But I want to bring you to Ezekiel chapter 46, where it also talks about the new moons and how the gates of the inner court are open during the new moon. That's why we want to take time to make this video to give everybody the opportunity to take advantage of this inner court being opened. This is actually the day that our spirits ascends to our Father on the Sabbath day. That's why it's important to rest and not do any work so that our spirit can make this communication with our Father. So there is a lot going on starting on the evening of May the 20th. If you want to partake, one of the first things you could do is try to get a sighting of the new moon It'll be right there at sunset. A lot of people miss it because it's so soon after sunset. You only have an hour at the most before the moon will set itself. You can see in my area, the moon will be setting at about 9 p.m. While sunset to be about 7.43, which means that it'll probably be dark around 8 o'clock. Giving us a chance to see the new moon, but we'll only have about an hour or so to see it and that will be on the 20th so as far as the second month goes here's a more simplified view of that same calendar the first day of the month will be the 21st which happens to be a Sunday and of course those who calculate their Sabbath days on the monthly basis will have the Sunday Sabbath this time but of course, those of us on the quarterly will remain on Thursdays. The major holidays of this period will be around June the 20th, which will be first Pentecost. Those who were able to keep the Passover in the first month will celebrate Pentecost on or around June the 2nd. Of course, that will be dependent on the verification of the new moon on the 20th. If the new moon is not verified, I will have to update this calendar. But as it looks, this is the way it stands now with Pentecost being on June the 2nd. Now, before I let you guys go, let me show you how this looks on the Celestial Clock Calendar. Of course, you can check out this calendar at our store, coachingthefight.shop, or look below to find links to this clock that actually works like a calendar. Now, the way this calendar works is the numbers which normally represent a clock, the 12 o'clock position, actually 
represents the 12th month on the sacred celestial calendar or this Enoch calendar, as some people call it. But we're down here approaching the third month. So if I was to add the hour hand to our celestial clock, it should look something like that as we start the third month. If I add my minute hand, it would be pointing to the beginning of the first day of the month. That's the way it would look right there at sunset on the 20th. If we wait to after the verification on the following morning, the hand will be closer to the halfway position. And if we wait to the following evening, the 21st, we will make sure that the hand of the clock is set to the first day. That will be the 21st of May. But if your clock is a little bit behind, like a day behind, don't worry. Because as you know, with these clocks, we have to add a day, but we won't add that day until we get down to the fourth month. We add a day in the first, fourth, seventh, and 10th month. It is when we have the new moon of the fourth month that we will fast forward the day hand to the first day of the first month. But if you want to do it in the second month, it's okay. You can actually update these clocks any time of the month. All you have to do is know which day of the month we're actually on. And for those not familiar with this clock or haven't seen it before, let me go ahead and add the second hand or the sun hand for the sighting of the new moon for the third month. You'll see that the second hand or the hand that represents the hour should be pointed sometime around sunset. And here is the one that I happen to be using these days. You see, it says that it's about 9 a.m. And we have about a day before we reach the third month. So on the new moon, it would be pointing to the three o'clock position. Again, you can see these clocks at coachingthefight.shop or follow the links below. But anyway, if you have any more questions, just ask and we'll talk about it below. And with that, we're going to close this video out. Make sure you do something good today. Keep up with the charitable deeds, guys. Pray for me, and I will continue to do the same for you. Shalom. Happy new month.